एंड इफ अ ब्राउन पर्सन डज दैट इज लाइक तू ये तू पागल है ये क्या कर रहा है तो ये तो पत्थर पड़ेंगे ही इज हिमसेल्फ इफ ही वांट्स टू पुट नेल पेंट ही विल पुट नेल पेंट लाइक अ रॉकस्टार ही इज नॉट गोना बॉदर अबाउट पीपल सेइंग ओ क्या ए, तुम तुम गे है यार तुम तुम लड़की है तुम यू नो लाइक हाउ पीपल कम अप विद दिस स्टूपिड क्वेश्चन एज नाउ आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल वुडंट बी सेइंग आमिर खान व्हेन इट कम्स टू स्टाइल बट इट व्हेन यू uh for me he's he's style mafia cuz i find ranveer kapoor so cool you know i like that he's not on social media man that's also part of his style i would describe my personal style as uh honest and myself you know i wouldn't call it unique because everybody's style is unique we are all unique we are all god's kids i don't understand when people say i am god people you know they end up saying i am god special child we are all special that's why we are here on this planet we've had this huge opportunity to live our dreams to live this life so i would say my style if you can describe it um if i have to give it a word i would say moody i'm very mood driven you know it's all about my mood if i'm feeling a certain uh, vibe i will totally go for it Oh yeah yeah I have so many do I try to emulate or do I try to be like somebody else no I find that very uh very stupid why would you want to be somebody else you know you could have you could have a lot of love for other people a lot of respect for other people be it for their craft or be it for their artistic value but trying to be like somebody else makes you lesser of an artist but I have a lot of love for Mr Amir Khan why I'll tell you now I know a lot of people wouldn't be saying Amir Khan when it comes to style but it when you uh for me he's he's style mafia because you know as an actor anita when you're playing different parts you have a lot of inputs in the physical uh character sketch that you create tugs of hindustan unfortunately didn't work but his character the way he designed it the way the character looked it was amazing and you know i'm sure he had a lot of inputs that no spin the the kajal the hat and everything and beat any film dangal you know he's very authentic to his characters even off screen i see him uh at the airport he'll be carrying a pillow <laughs> I find that so cool man I wish I could be half as cool as Mr Amir Khan like he is so cool you know if he wants to carry a pillow I'm sure he he doesn't even fly business he flies first class but he still carries a pillow you know what I mean so that's somebody who's himself that is style so for me it's Mr Amir Khan who tops the list uh, then it's Mr Amitabh Bachchan of course legend his classic suits and you know his aura his personality I think you know when you have uh, an uh, when you have your when your aura is so massive anita you don't have to do anything you are style man you just have to just turn up <laughs> that's mr bachchan and um, i love johnny depp johnny depp is my ultimate style god uh, globally i think he's very very um himself you know again he's himself if he wants to put nail paint he will put nail paint like a rock star he's not going to bother about people saying oh kya yeah, tum tum gay hai ya yeah, tum tum uh, ladki hai tum you know like how people come up with these stupid uh, questionnaires so i'm sure it doesn't happen that much in the west but uh, still i'm sure there are idiots everywhere right so uh, he would if he wants to wear 20 uh, neck pieces he would in spite of being a very masculine man so um i don't think it's important uh, to box people i don't think it's fair to box people be it men or women uh, style is personal if you want to try different things try experiment man it's it's amazing it's 2021 if you if you guys as actors artists won't experiment and will live in a little cocoon like a mendak then uh, i mean how are we going to represent indian entertainment well we'll just look like really backward and you know mm, nobody has a personality nobody really tries different things you know what i mean and if i can add a few more names i find ranveer kapoor so cool you know i like that he is not on social media man that's also part of his style everybody is always trying so hard on social media hey look at me i'm so cool la, 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 la. you know what i mean but that guy is so you know uh, himself so his style his statement is he's not uh, available on social media all the time and he's got a particular very clean classic sense of style which i like ranveer singh is amazing he's such a brilliant brilliant actor i love him i love what he did in padmavat um and uh, he's he dresses also <laughs> his his dressing style is very cool you know it's very unique and uh, so many yeah like the list oh saif ali khan i think he's the ultimate nawab you know he's he's got that aura he's got that vibe and he's 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 just a walking talking royalty man and he's so cool he reads and so too many people i think who are wonderful it, it won't be fair i've already given uh, 695 names <laughs> but i don't think i should give any more <laughs> we should stop at the names here
<laughs> I'm very, very androgynous uh, in my style, but I've always been like that. I, I guarantee the, the sweat uh, shirt I'm wearing right now, a lot of girls would wear it. My ex-girlfriend wore it more than I wore it. You know, <laughs> so that's androgynous, man. Like I said, don't box it. You know, if a girl can wear her boyfriend jeans, why can't I wear a loose fitted, cool uh, unisex kind of sweatshirt? You know, when it comes to wearing a skirt, was I very comfortable earlier? No, but if I right now, if I want, if I think the setting is right, I can make a wonderful, uh, beautiful statement, uh, which is aesthetically correct and which doesn't look um, stupid, then I would wear it. So then, yeah, I do take a lot of chances. I'm very, very um, um, gutsy or ballsy, if you want to put it like that. And uh, why not? I mean, uh, th that's great. So it's, I've, I've always had this sense of style, which is uh, me. You know, now, if you want to call it androgynous or if you want to call it uh, um, crazy, that's, uh, that's, again, you know, your version. Yeah, but I get I get a lot of love for how I dress or how I uh, probably speak or the kind of emotions I have towards different aspects of life. But I get a lot of hate as well, you know, because as India, you know, as a country, we are still we are an amalgamation of a lot of uh, different countries in one country. So everybody's entitled to an opinion and that's how it should be. We are a democracy. So but I get mostly love. So I'm very thankful to God. To be honest, no, to be honest, no. More color, happier I am. I'm a very, very flamboyant, uh, colorful kind of personality. If you ask the people who know me, know me, like they know I'm always jumping around. I'm that, I'm that bunny on uh, some energy pill. Like I'm just that guy. So I like, I like wearing color. I like wearing different interesting cuts. Um, the only thing I uh, probably wouldn't do ever is put something obnoxious on just to get some eyeballs. Like I wouldn't put a bird on my head, you know, like some people do some all sorts of things, you know, I wouldn't just turn up on a red carpet event in my bathroom slippers uh, because firstly, it's disrespectful. You're not following the dress code, you know, Oscars, you see all the men are impeccably dressed, you know? So like, just because we are going for an Indian award show, I wouldn't disrespect um, Indian ceremony just because they are kind enough and they want you to have a personality and they're generous, you know, otherwise they could also put you in a uniform and be like men in black suits. And women can wear gowns, you know, but as Indian uh, entertainment, we are very open to different ideas, which is a great thing. We are very open to people being creative on the red carpet and, you know, to have a personality. Like this time when I attended film fair, I had nail paint on. I had all my 10 fingers had massive nail paint and people loved it, you know, because a lot of Indian actors, unfortunately, nobody had done it before on the red carpets. It's so uh, I was told and I and people loved it, you know, so and I'm, I'm glad Film Fair lets you do these fun things, you know, like it's not like a uniform. It's not like oh, everybody has to just come up with a black tuxedo. Just do just do whatever you want to do, man. You're an artist. So uh, nothing is uh, really stopping me from uh, being crazy and I hope nothing ever stops me from being crazy <laughs> uh, to be honest it was very very impromptu but when I say impromptu it's not like half an hour prior like a day prior it was like oh why don't we do this you know like and that's how it popped up so I, of course my stylist uh, was there and none of my team members were sure that I should do that they said no Sahil Indian actor ko aisa nahi karna chahiye box mein dal dete and you know how we somehow like to categorize but I think India we have evolved so much Anaita like we have such cool people leave the actors man you have to see how wonderfully cool are these college kids you know like I'm telling you like they could teach you and I a lesson right here like so you know we, so I, I think we are, we, are, we are a very very evolved race and we are evolving more and it's just that in, for, for a lot of years like we were all very suppressed if a white person does something cool we are like oh my god this will do it their jeans are very good this is a big Amir country and if a brown person does that, it's like, oh, you're crazy. But now it's changed. In the last two, three years, I've seen people are being themselves and are being cool because the world's becoming a smaller place, you know, so you can be yourself. Oh, wow, that's that. You've caught me on a spot. Uh, I would pick, I would pick, I would pick, I would pick. Um, let me, let me do anything. I would pick uh, Saif Ali Khan from Kalhonau. I thought he was very, very chic, very cool. He was like this cool New Yorker, you know, like from Manhattan. I love New York, by the way. So I think Saif Ali Khan from Kalhonau. Yeah. Uh, my boxers. Just hanging in my boxers, watching TV, eating my burgers. <laughs> that's that's life. Oh wow, there, there's so many. Uh, there's so many. Uh, I would say, I would say, I would say, um, I would say Deepika Padukone's really stylish because again, she's herself. You know, she's not trying to prove a point. I never see that she's trying to uh, prove a point. That oh, let me put a bird on my head. 
that way I'll look stylish. No, she's so, but then, you know, again, she's so beautiful. It helps. She could just come in a kurta pajama or whatever night suit and she'll still be the most beautiful person. So Deepika, even Priyanka Chopra, I am obsessed with Priyanka Chopra's aura, her confidence, her style, personality. I think style is a part of all these things as well. You know, amalgamation of how you talk, how you walk, how you uh, treat people. So Priyanka Chopra as well. Red, oh, uh, I think uh, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Because I think he has a lot of suits and, you know, he's always, and I've, I haven't really met him, unfortunately, till now. I've met him at an event, but I haven't hung out with him. You know what I mean? I haven't worked with him, unfortunately, fingers crossed. I really hope to work with him. I've heard he smells really good all the time, man. So I would like to even see all his cologne uh, section, you know, like what colognes does he use? Uh, I smell okay myself, but I've heard he smells like a god, <laughs> which he is. <laughs> like, you know, like he's like Bollywood uh, king. So he smells like a king. So I would like to see what colognes is he using? <laughs>